Okay, more examples from the chain rule section. So now for example seven, I'm taking the derivative of a natural log. Now we know that the derivative of a natural log is just one over its argument. So one over three x cubed. However, because the argument is not just x, I do have to multiply by the derivative of that argument. So I get three is my constant multiplier, bring down my three and decrease the power by one. So I end up with nine x squared over three x to the third, which gives me nine over x, one, I'm sorry, three over x once I reduce my numbers, my coefficients, and my variables. Now, example eight. I do have an inner function and I do have an outer function. So I'm going to take the derivative. My constant multiplier is a negative two. The derivative of my outside function is negative sine and I keep the angle the same. But because that angle is not just an x, I do have to apply the chain rule. So I do have to multiply by pi. So when I multiply everything out, I get a positive two pi sine of my angle pi over x. Another example here. Now this one's a little bit more complicated because I have two inner functions. So I'm probably going to have a double linked chain, but we'll see that it worked out in a second. This 3x angle is an inner function to my tangent function, but the whole tangent is an inner function to my x cubed function. So you see how you've got a double inner function there. Let's first start off at the beginning. We have our constant multiplier 4. We bring down our power three, and then we keep the base the same, and then we decrease our power by one, so we get two. But because the base is not just an x, we do have to multiply by the derivative of that. And the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And whatever that angle is, I have to repeat it. However, the angle itself is not just x. And when the angle itself is not just x, we have to multiply by the derivative of it. So there's that double linked chain. Derivative of 3x is 3. So if I multiply this all out, I have 4 times 3 times 3, which is um, 36. And then I have tangent squared of 3x times secant squared of 3x.